Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, Eric Koss from Chiefs. Hey, we're live in Cooper Creek. New eva new evacs here on this fire. You can see we've uh, trying to come up on this ridge over here. What's up, Heidi? So new evacs on this for this area right here. You can see um, a couple neighborhoods here. So right ahead of us, the, the little mountain you see there on the right hand side, that's evac. Now new evacs. Um, you can see this heavier fire is actually move this camera just a little bit here. Actually, move it actually growing all around this ridge right now. Don't know if the winds have picked up. I grab our little uh, kestrel. We'll grab our cash and get a wind measurement. Nine percent humidity. This, yeah, we're in Cripple Creek. This suddenly accelerated about 30 minutes ago with a bunch of new evacs. And that's why we popped out here.
and you can see this fire all the way over here. Yeah, so lots of new evacs behind this little ridge over here. So holler if you're going to use the feed so I don't move the camera around too much. So we got a little hot spot in there. Let me zoom in here real quick. Guys. It could be a clump of trees. Zoom in here a second, guys. Move around a little bit and see what's going on here. Oh, this is uh, Cook Creek. Had a fire yesterday. Um, really quiet today and then perked up tonight with lots of evacs tonight.
I can shoot all the way across town and get right to the road closing if you need me to. How about I try that? Always come back. We may move and see what we can find here on the other side of town. Okay. We're gonna try to see see if we can get on the other side of town here. bunch of these ridges before. Okay, let's see where we can go, guys. We'll keep a signal. We dump it some places back here, so we'll see what we can do. You can always jump back on. You can always go back up to that spot here as it gets dark, too. They're in the town of Cripple Creek. Right adventure foods. I'm gonna try to see if we can go the other way and pick up anything over there. If not, we'll go back to where we were. than I thought. This is uh this is the neighboring this is the county we share. Um, they requested us for mutual aid and we didn't have anybody we could send yesterday uh, because of how high the fire danger was in our own district. But yeah, we're on the task force for fires out here. If this thing would have got bigger or you know and our our fire danger would have got a little bit, we would have sent resources to this fire. So yeah, this is, uh, this is our neighboring district. Let me figure out where is this new growth here. Okay, it's down there. 
Let's see, we're looking back on this on tower one. I know that. Let's see how far we can go out back here. We will probably lose our signal momentarily back here. We almost always do for a short time back here. We'll see. Bar. They're gonna shut us down at. Oh. Now let's at least back to here. we're going to get right there. I know, our donkeys are right down the hill from me.
I could get to that neighborhood across the hill. I've been up on top of that mountain a thousand times. But that neighborhood is shut down. Yes, this many fires this early is unusual. Um, I mean, it's only a three miles, two miles, three miles. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, the planes were dropping. You can see them right above the treetops dropping there. I couldn't see them actually dropping, but there was... I just, yeah, I just saw a helicopter in there. Um... They're getting close to sunset, so they can't fly. I mean, once they get sunset, they can't fly. Um, so I can actually look. There's an app you can see all the. Do you have a property up in here? I don't. I'm just shooting for media. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm independent, but right now, I'm, yeah, right now I'm shooting for KKTV in Colorado don't Springs. You, no, you're not. Just your way. No, I'm just I'm live, and I'm, they don't need the audio, so you're just fine. Do you have property up here? I live in Victor. Okay. So. Got a friend who lives in between, but they've got the road blocks at uh, Venture Foods and right here. I know I saw that block there. I saw the teller block, one block, and I'm like, there's nowhere I'm gonna go. If you could get up there, you'd get an amazing view. I've been up in that neighborhood before on fires. Um, if you could get up on top of Mount Pisgah up there, I bet you could really see. Yeah, they just they evac that mountain. That's the only problem. That's what. Yeah. So they just did evacs on the mountain and then evac in. Cripple Creek Ranch, I think, which is of these over here, too. I got it from some guy's property by, by accident. I told him, I said, hey, I don't mean to be first trespassing or anything. Yeah. And he said that they're under pre event. Yeah, this whole area is. And it was, you know, it was really quiet today. And then 30 minutes ago. So Green Mountain Falls. Um, and I just came shooting out real quick. For this. Well, I was surprised uh, this morning. You know, the, we, we drove all the way to what is it, Lake Bourne, and uh, on uh, 11. And this morning, I was surprised that there's zero containment. Yeah, I mean, it's just an. I mean, it. So I'm a I'm a Green Mountain Falls firefighter, also. Okay. Um, so, I mean, containment means you have to get a line around it all, around it. And it's just, it, when it's so big and hard terrain, I mean, it's hard to well, dig. I imagine they've got blocks that they're cutting. They are, and you're, and, but you're digging line, and until you get a solid line all the way around it, you're afraid it's going to jump the line. So. This, this uh, uh, Teller County deputy, I, I asked him, I said, you know, am I going to be in trouble over here? And he says, no, he says, but it's out of our hands at this point. It's the state control. The fire? Yeah. Yeah, it's on BLM land. Um, so Bureau of Land Management. So they, they have control of the fire. I mean, there's a ton of resources on it. I mean, everybody, I mean, we didn't send anybody because we don't have anybody um, from our department. But, I mean, a lot of the, all the departments around here have. Aircraft over. Would not want to have to be answering. Yes, I had my <laughs> bomber came over and clipped. No, they actually have a, a, a flight restriction on the area. They just put it out yesterday, which is smart. So, I, I was thinking the same thing. If you had a drone, I thought, yeah, they probably. Oh no! It's yeah. I mean, as soon as they recognized your drone, they would they would uh, all the aircraft would leave, and so you would impede the the progress of the fire. I can imagine that would be. A, but it looks to me like the smoke isn't as intense as it was. Yeah, on my way here, it was a lot more intense. I'm curious as it starts to get dark, what'll start to glow, what kind of embers we'll start to see from up here. Actually, at Victor, I saw some ash floating in. Did you really? Wow. But as of last night, I mean, the wind was blowing from the south last night. Yeah, yesterday. yeah. And then at dusk, it, it turned around and, and blew back. So. Yep. Yeah, I mean, our humidity is still really low. It's 9%. Um, up at the overlook from Cripple Creek. I pulled the, the humidity. I have a little kestrel, which will pull the the dew point, the humidity, and the wind. Um, and it was still really low. Typically, these will get much, much better at night. See, 
now it's blowing. It's blowing this direction. A little bit from the east, yeah. Which will help the humi- which will increase the humidity on it for sure. Well, only time will tell. Yeah. Talk hey, you. take care of yourself. Be safe. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Let's see if the focus gets better. Should look pretty funky here once the sun starts to set. We'll see what kind of embers, see how hot it is from here. Let's get a dew point reading here and a humidity reading. Let's see what we got. Still at like 10% humidity though. Thank <laughs> you. 
certainly, you know, I have some mechanisms to get on to figure out fires pretty quick. Um, so I report them as fa as fast as I get them. So you're welcome. Certainly better, looks way better than it did an hour ago. We'll post some of that video later, but an hour ago it looked, it had some, a lot more heat to it. cameras here as we get a little bit dark the iphone does an exceptional job at night on fast Alright, we're going to start a new feed here, guys. I'll get the old one going here first. That looked a lot worse than we got here for sure. Alright, so let me... I'll get this new one started here. Right when we're about to start this new one, we'll kick off this old one. iPhone just does way better at night. All set up here, and then we're gonna switch phones real quick, guys. All right, ending this one, guys. Starting a new one. Jump over with us, okay? <laughs> 